Meher Desanya and Aki Outset, I would like to welcome you all to another interesting webinar of WZCC. This session is going to be everyone's favorite, as Mr. Baman Irani is the speaker today, with whom we have always wanted to interact, not just because he is an actor, actor par excellence, but also because he inspires people to realize their true potential. WZCC, as you know, works to create and sustain an environment conducive to the development of the Zoroastrian community by partnering with businessmen and professionals through its 15 chapters and five area representative offices worldwide. WZCC is not for making profit organization. Founded in the year 2000, it is the only formal business organization in the community whose primary goal is to bring members from the private sector, business sector, including SMEs, MNCs, and other industries to network with each other and prosper in various fields. Greetings once again to all of you, and thank you for joining the webinar. Let me commence by saying that pursuing excellence has always been one of the key objectives of WSCC. And in line with the objective, we have started this new series of bringing the doings from our community to dialogue on important topics with the business and professional community worldwide. This is our second webinar, and we are pleased to bring you none other than Mr. Bama Nirani, who will take us, who will share his life's learnings and leadership lessons that will enable you to navigate through the maze of life Turn setbacks into comebacks, prepare for success, and motivate yourself. Apart from being an actor, a very successful and that too, Mr. Irani is one of the happiest and kindest ambassadors of our community. We are proud to have him, and if you want to add any layers to your knowledge, please watch this webinar carefully. Thank you, Mr. Irani, for accepting WRCC's invitation and for joining us today. We wish you loads of success and to your company, Irani Moviton, the very best. May it be a tailblazer in the industry. And now, may I request you to share your thoughts and start your presentation? Thank you and hello everybody. Uh, good evening, good morning, good whether in Australia, Chicago, I don't know where, where everybody is, but lovely, lovely to see you. So what we can do is, uh, bring a little energy into the room and say, everybody can you know, wave out to each other and say, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, just wave out or you know, uh, do this, it's nice. Royalty on both sides. <laughs> good, little energy in the room, that's nice. That's nice. Uh, good to be here, good to be here, everyone. Uh, my name is Bamani Rani, in case Meher didn't introduce me and I didn't hear that, just in case, I'm, I'm joking, of course, Meher. I'm sure it was a sweet introduction. But just to make a slight, uh, crack a slight joke about making sure, letting even Zarthostis know who the hell I am. I was on a flight once, somebody was, you know, walked into the flight, spotted me, and he said, oh, he started shouting on the phone. He said, my world, my most favorite actor of all time, my most, he was shouting on the phone in the morning on the flight. My most favorite actor, my most favorite actor, smile karalago. And then he comes loudly and the whole plane can hear what he's saying. He comes close to my ear and said, hey, bhai sahab, aapka naam kya hai? <laughs> and that was it, you know, it just completely uh, punctured my, my prestige. And, and, and after that, I just make sure people know, my name is Bhavan Irani, I'm an actor, ladies and gentlemen. Good to be here, good to be with all the Jarthostis on the planet. I think all of you are here, each and every one of you. So nice. Hi, I see lovely bachas in Arish's, uh, Arish Dubash's home. That's beautiful. Uh, and uh, all of you, welcome. So I'm going to I've started my timer and I'm going to talk to you a little journey, a little journey about uh, this guy who was uh, a little kid who wanted to be on stage, a little kid who wanted to be in front of the camera. And he had a whole lot of bucket lists uh, to be ticked off and maybe just one or two are done. I've got about 19 to go still. So uh, also it's nice if we can uh, use the, the chat box. Uh, it'll be nice to use the chat box so that I know that people are listening and there's an interaction and it's proactive. So, uh, here goes. 
So I'll just I'll just tell you this is a story. Even though it's about myself, it's not about me. Thanks, Beros. Uh, it's not about me. I think it's about everybody because these are the lessons that I may have learned as a young man, as an older man. I'm not old yet. I'm just just made it as a senior citizen last year. Um, but I was born. Let's let me start. Uh, I was born in 1959. I was born in 1959 in December. My father passed away in uh, 1959 in May. So I was born posthumously. I was born after the death of my father. So when I came into this world, I, as all aliens do, I only thought there was one species, and that was the female species. I did not know what a man looked like for a very long time because I was surrounded. My mother was 93. She's not too well today, unfortunately. Uh, she was 93. I had three sisters before me, uh, and uh, five masses, four, uh, four uh, kaki, ne, but the uh, elokona friends, elokona cousins, but the uh, ladies. And I was very, very protected. I was mollycoddled, and I just didn't know when I saw a man for the first time. I almost peed in my pants because I was so protected. And I heard a male voice. Yeah, females ruled over my life, but I think females, the female, was my strength, as as even today. So I was so protected that I was very, I was very scared child. And everybody used to call me bichara baman, bichara baman, bichara. Why bichara baman? I don't know. Just because my father had died before before my arrival, bichara, 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 kariyat kare bata. Um, I had a speech defect. I used to. the stammer i had a very thin voice and i used to lisp em kene baat karu to to bada hasta tha na i can see some smiles on the thing it's not a problem uh and that used to make me very conscious kyu bolu uch kai to why are people laughing and i couldn't understand so i thought there's something terribly wrong with me everybody used to call me bichara baman yes i used to talk like virus somebody in the chat said it's to talk like virus virus from three years i deliberately put it there uh it works and i was an afraid scared little child so my my mother took me to st mary school uh for the admission test father molinet was the principal these are the little lessons i learned in my life and it, i might have learned retrospectively also but father molinet took, took me to kasin and he told my mother mrs irani i know your situation don't worry I'll just show him a couple of photographs of animals. It's a formality. It's a formality. He's in school. No problem. Uh, um, so he made me sit there, and he showed me a photograph like this. What is this, son? Can you tell me? So he showed me a photograph of goro. Goro, don't you say? I have to say horse. So horse, so he said. M can you say? Upar se. So I said, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So he said, 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 मोनू बन राखवा बेटर तो मैं मोनू बन राख्यू तो मम्मी पछवा थी मैंने पछवा चिमटी मारिया करे बोल बोल दीक बोल तो हूँ केम बोलू पी को नो प्रॉब्लम नो प्रॉब्लम बीजू फोटो बता ऊंडर हम ऊंडर इंग्लिश में भी एफ आयो माउथ माउथ कहने वो बोलते तो हसते तो मैं तो ना कहू हूँ तो नहीं बोलो तो स्माइल आप करो फादर ने एम करे मम्मी मैंने चिमटी मारे के बोल बोल नहीं बोलू आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू से दैट वेन वी हायर एंड फायर एंड वी जज पीपल आई थिंक इट्स इट्स ओनली फेयर नॉट टू जज अ बुक बाय इट्स कवर आई वेंट होम आई वेंट होम एंड माई मदर क्राइड शी क्राइड एंड क्राइड एंड क्राइड यू नो वाई बिकॉज आई डेंट गेट एडमिशन father did not give me admission say i to garbar se here go after 10 days father molinet calls up my mother he calls up my mother and he says mrs irani uh i am an educationist i just want to let you know that as an educationist i may have failed today i didn't see the point the point is which child does not know what a horse is which child does not know what a mouse is of course he knows he's just afraid he's just a scared child you send him to st mary school i'll give him admission and we'll make a man out of him and i'm ever so grateful to that courageous acceptance that father may have made a mistake 
he thought about it and he gave me the admission. And, and I can't tell you how important is a lesson it is for all of us to give everybody a chance. He gave me a chance, but I didn't. Ne Neville has raised his hand. Neville, we'll do it in the Q&A. Neville, we'll answer your questions in the Q&A, all right? Uh, I had dyslexia. I still have a very, very strong case of dyscalculia. I have numbers. I have said that I have said that I have so much money. I didn't, you know, I didn't understand it. I'm joking, of course. Meher is saying, "Meher, why are you talking about this?" Anyway, uh, <laughs> and I had all kinds of learning disabilities. So my grades weren't great. On top of it, I was scared as a child till the fourth or fifth standard. Plus, I had a speech defect. Never put up my hand in class. And I just want to say that to all the parents over here that. Never feel that something's wrong with your child if he doesn't get great grades in science and maths. That's what people judge us on. If you're not good at science and maths, they give you the scientific term of the 60s or the 70s. They call you a duffer. You're not. There is academic in intelligence. There is sporting intelligence. There is artistic intelligence. There is creative intelligence. Please judge me on that. Don't judge me because I can't get 98 on 100. I can't. And we put too much pressure on our children to get 98 on 100, right? Uh, however, my speech defect was taken care of. My mother took care of that. I went to a wonderful, wonderful uh, speech therapist called Alu Hirjibedin. I hope someone's listening who knows the lady. Her husband was uh, editor of uh, Kaisere Hind, Jal Hirjibedin, and I used to go and I used to, she used to put marbles in my mouth. Like Eliza Doolittle in My Fair Lady, you know, all, all, I, used to, I, I strengthened my thing and I, I got rid of my speech defect. And I became confident, but my grades didn't improve. I passed, thank you, with a very high third class result. High third class, don't say that. I said, no, that's the truth. And I didn't know what to do with myself. I Amari Dukanati, Grant Road, ma, Golden Wafers. So, we have to go to Dukan. We have to go to Dukan. I said, let's go to the best. I always said, do go for the best, reach for the stars. You will land on the treetops. Right? So, I went to uh, Taj. Best hotel in India, so in the world. I was a gentleman. I know most of you, uh, someone says, says I'm from here in Connecticut. There was this gentleman called Sam Bada. Sam! Kharus. Kharus, what a lovely human being. But <clears throat> he took my interview. Manakich. Ubi style ma gelo ekdam bow tie peri ne. Acha. You want to join Taj? Yes, sir. Which department? Neither a big you. I said, style ma bol yo na? Uh, food and beverage. Food and beverage? You the idiot, the whole hotel business is about food and beverage. Which department? On the wrong foot, huh, Roshan? Food and beverage? <laughs> Which department? So maybe style ma I kept my composure. I said, um, I'd like to be in the, join the rendezvous. Oh, the French restaurant. I said, yes, sir. On the rooftop. I said, yes, sir. Good. You got aspiration. Oh, very good. Very proud. Very proud. May they ask you to mute your mic because there's some disturbance. I'll mute it. All right. So there's rendezvous on the top floor, rooftop. Menu ni andar bhaobi ni lagta da te restaurant ma. Tlo posh restaurant. So you want to start. Good, good, good. I said, thank you, sir. You know what he told me? He said, start in the basement, you idiot. Don't start on the rooftop. I said, means? He's saying, son, you have to pay your dues. You want to go to the most exclusive restaurant, work in the most exclusive restaurant in the country, you've got to start not at ground level, below the ground level, because that's where your foundation will be. So you go to the basement and start in room service. So, I room service, 
Sam Bada. I say this in every time, and I'm so happy when I meet Sam, you know, in New York, when I used to meet him in New York. When I, you know, I said, ah, oh, welcome, Mr. Irani. He said, don't say Mr. Irani, you gave me my first job. And that's what happened many years later. So he sent me to room service. Now, oh, this trail is not a trail. My feet are webbing. I used to walk and walk and walk and walk. And, and I used to collect tips. I used to go, homi Dawa saying, Sam lives with us. Uh, in Houston, yes, I know he's in Houston. Give him my love. He's the most wonderful human being, and someone he you should you should make him talk on the show. So I I started collecting tips. Bevaras thegya, and I reached my destination, my meeting place, the rendezvous, and I became a waiter. I said, French away thokwa lago. What do you recommend? Oh, French ma bo jawab abdo. The rendezvous de fui de me la chaim de basic. With pistol de zafron, very nice choice. Can him both fake and fake karto. Tardi acting karto. And and <laughs> and uh, and then one day, my mama, Ajay Bichara, mama ni tabe thik nadi. I'm a little worried, but she's. I went and met her. I said, "Ja, bara bara kari aao je show." She gave me a blessing and all of that. So she met with an accident, and she. I said, "Tamone su the mo ghar ma chao. Aavi ja." And she said, "Man, dukaane, I cannot sit at the shop. You'll have to go." But when did you go to the dukaane? I made wafer banana. Novelty cinema ni pachal grand tour. And I used to sit at the wafer shop making wafers. Wafer da, vajan karta da, who fry bhi karta do, who fry bhi karta do. And that chaud varas. I worked there for fourteen years. I got married when I was twenty-five. I met my wife at the wafer shop. By the time I turned twenty-six, I became a dad. I can see Cyrus is saying, "M.K.M. Thay, 25 or Lagan Kila before 26, it will buy. But what can I do? But the legal says Cyrus, we need legal kids. Don't, don't be." Don't. Um, and I realize after a period of time uh, that I was stagnating. I wanted to do something that was creative, and I also realized that after seven years of marriage, I had not taken my family out for a single holiday. And I think we all work. For, for our families. At the end of the day, I just want to go back and say something. I learn, I learn in screenwriting, in storytelling, in acting. Any movie that you ever see, my friends, go to the picture draw. There will be a hero or a protagonist that wants something in life, and the bigger the want, the greater the trouble. So there's an intention, and if the intention is strong or big, the greater the obstacles will come along the way. And with each intention, there will be bigger obstacles. Until you reach the intention, you'll have obstacles. I wanted to do something creative, so I bought myself a camera, a very very basic camera, from the tips I earned at Taj Mahal, and I started taking pictures of school matches, school cricket matches. School sports day, uh, road races, cycle races. Now, 25-25 rupees amount we bech to do pili photographs. I love photography. I love sports. I'm kari na me paisa jama kida and I went took my family for a holiday. I took my family for a holiday to Uti. I uh, classified ads ma me joyu kan digit number phone kido booking kido gaya Shoreham Palace Hotel. Apne train ma gaya, ST bus ma gaya. बैग बड़ा उचकी ने गया ने होटल जोयू में इट लुक लाइक बड़ा राम से पिक्चर नो भूत बंगलो ये बड़ा हाई गरबर थे कि मारा हाथ है बट दैट्स ऑल आई कुड अफोर्ड राइट आई सेड अंदर जाने जाओ मेरे को जोय जोय तो खाना अंदर सूच है मेरे को बाहर हेरिटेज होटल हो से दे डोंट बी एबल टू टच इट और रिकंस्ट्रक्ट अंदर जाने अंदर वाज इवन वर्स इतनी मोटी कड़ी गति पे दरवाजा पर टक 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 करके खोलियो Yes, it was like a horror film sound effects. Can I open the door? It was a dark room. I said, "Please light on, Karo." When I light on, Kiri, one light came on. One light came on. Arish, one light came on. It was a zero number bulb. Andharu jrailu, aku room. I said, "This is can't be. This is not going to be the rest of my life." I cannot send photographs at 25 rupees and think for the rest of my life. You have to up your game. That's the thing I learned at that point. And my, at that point of time, let me say clearly, 
my life was like a zero number bulb. Typically, like a zero number bulb. I came back and I made another Parsi, Aspi Yaga Janya. Well, now I have to up my game. Something international, karo. I, you know, you just, you, you have to raise the stakes always. I went and met Aspi Yaga Janya. He was the president of the uh, in, International Boxing Association. I want to be the photo official photographer of the World Cup football, uh, boxing that's coming to India. So Olympians are going to come. I school, I to So I Aspi Sahib. show me your photographs. Photo uh, Okay. But we don't, we don't need your service. I said, why, sir? So you want to be the official photographer of the World Cup? I said, yes. I want to be. Intention. Remember, you must have intention. But here the obstacle now. Have you ever taken a photograph of a boxing match? He said, uh, I said, no. Then how can you take? I said, but see other my photographs, Maru, Maru cricket na jo, Maru uh, cycle race na. Saying, no, sir. I am ne chale. Saying, tu pape pelo wafer walo. Me bola, haji. You go to the Kanda Batata market, there's a separate market called onion and onion and potato market he said yes you buy potatoes i said yes are you are you do you know how to buy i said i'm an expert i can hold a papeta in my hand and tell you when it is ready to fry so yeah in the same market you get onions do you know how to buy onions i said no just because you take photographs of sports doesn't mean you know everything about boxing. And he used an English phrase on me. He says, you should know your onions. And I said, he's right. He's absolutely right. We should never, never take any. I went and started taking pictures of boxing. It looked like a boxing tournament. But the patla dubla apple, I'm sukka, kandi, jeva, and boxing. I said, no, can be kind of high jay Whatever it is, I have to take good photographs. Jay chhe te chhe. No, kuriya is karu. But the best photographers be out there. Jawa. And he goes, you know, chai piya karu. Bolay so Parsi gila ganda karu. Upper jao, tarafa upper jao, catwalk upper jao. Iya thi leyo, niche thi leyo. I needed to prove myself. I tried and I kept taking taking photographs. For one week, I went to Aspi Adajania. I said, Mr. Adajania, I jao. Hey, one eh? He took that folder. M. Lidu, draw my mukhi na, thak kine draw ban kai na kyu? Ola mari ye aisu thi yo yon. He took out another envelope and he handed it to me. I call you. You have been appointed official photographer of the World Cup. Ola what? He says yeah. I said but you haven't seen the photographs. He said I did not have to. I could see it in your eyes. I could see that you, it means something to you. I can see the fire in your belly, young man. And sometimes, my friends, that's all it takes. You have the talent. He knows you can take pictures. He's seen me going to that place every night for two hours. I would go and take pictures. The photographs will be good. They will be good because there's passion and there's talent. You open the photographs and say, yeah, yeah, these are, these are very, very nice, for beautiful photographs. You got the job. And I said, that's a lesson to learn, you know. You've got to pay your dues, but you've got to be good at it. But you also must have the fire. And people can see the fire one mile away. Let me tell you. Aspito started supporting me. He said, you like a Norwegian boxer. He is a sponsored boxer. He is a sponsored boxer. He said, ton photo a photo. Three photographs. Three photographs. And I said, I don't know how to charge. That guy said, Ki, how much will you charge, Mr. Irani? I have money, so I have to pay for 25 rupees. So, Shula said, 50 rupees? I said, no, I'm going to pay for 50 rupees. I'm going to pay for I gave him an answer, which I think was a good business answer. So he says, so what will you charge? I said, I don't know what to say. So he said, pay me uh, international rates. Whatever you pay an American, Japanese, South African, Chinese guy, you pay me the same. I said, why should we in the good old days, we used to be a little conscious, self-conscious of, of ourselves. Well, it's okay, okay, we'll find. He also, he'll know the rates. I wouldn't know the rates. 
Then I found out from one guy called Sabi Fernandez, old man, who was Sabi uncle, was old, old veteran photographer. Was Sabi uncle, how much will I pay for, get for a photograph in a foreign magazine? He says, woman, you're getting a photo shoot in a foreign magazine? I said, yeah. Oh, I'm so proud of you. I've seen, I said, uncle, bolo na, uncle. I said, how much do you pay So it will be $60 a photo. I said, my God, $60 a photograph? I said, 60 into 3, $80, I said, I said, so, but if your photographs are really, really good, you'll get 100, and the magazine is good, reputed. $100 they'll pay per picture. Well, 100 into 3, tanso dollar. I am great. Photo leader. And I was just standing on the first day of the World Cup and by the ring. I was so proud, you know. And I'm sitting with my little dinky camera, you know. A very manual camera. It was a World Cup. People were with long, long lenses and big, big tripods. And I said to myself, whatever I've done till now was with this baby. And Mr. Adhajanya loved the pictures. So don't lose faith in your resource. Don't look at other people saying, any pass hai chai, any pass hai chai. Je chai, je chai. Squeeze it to give you the best. Okay. Pacho em gayo. Pachi me joyo. That the Norwegian, I could see my $300 fly away like that with wings. The Norwegian guy was fighting a German guy and the German guy, photographs so he says, I said again, stop thinking about the money, stop thinking about your resource and equipment. Just focus on the job. And my point at this point, thing, uh, this point is, had I looked around and look at the other guys and their fancy equipment and say, I'm feeling weaker, I would not get that shot. Had I felt I'm, my money, what will happen to my money? I don't have dollar in my mind. You're there for a job. You stick to the goddamn job. And I took the photograph. I took those three photographs. I went, I printed them. And it was a real ordeal to send it to Norway. But somehow, it's six o'clock in the morning. I came home. Mari bairi, Vesali, Siri par. Niche ground floor par yadala. I somehow sent it. Bo, 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 mara mari thai. Phone ayo. Saying, we love the photographs. Well, thank you. Now about your money. I said, I told you. Norway phone ayo. So I'm thinking in my head. Now I thought, let me think about the money. Ya to $180 month ya to $300 month Je, je thai te thai. Say, Mr. Irani, oh, yes, we love the photographs. Well, thank you, sir. So for three photographs, uh, we'll, give you, we'll give you $300. Yeah, too good. Bamansa, hey, fantastic. Then he's saying, go to the manager who is there and collect your $900. $900? $900? $900? Mr. Irani. Mr. Irani, yes. Mr. Irani, yeah, yes. You're not happy? I said, I'm very happy, sir. I was expecting 300, he gave me 900. I do believe that it was because I, I think I focused. That's it. I, that's my belief. Anyway, I collected $900. After 12 days or so, I got a check from Norway of $900. I hold it, Zinovena phone, I may go, no, 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 I'm not going to do it. I said, I said, So I said, okay, get it, check, joy, $900. Joy, to khara, kyu lag it, dollar no check. And it said on the flip side, $900 for reusing your photographs. I said, what? They've already overpaid me. But they printed those pictures again. 
in the Allied publication, I don't know where, and they sent me another $900. And I'm saying to myself, that's ethics for you. There were no websites to check who they were. There was no website to check who the hell I was. They could have printed it 50 times and that was not the deal. I was selling them three pictures and they gave me $900 and to me the matter is closed. They kept sending me $900 every time they used those pictures. And that's ethics for you. That's the big lesson I learned on that day. And I said, because of this, I have a launch pad to start a studio. That's the way I'm going to operate from this day on. Not that Parsis know any other way. We have enough of people to teach you the right way. But the Norwegian also helped me. I started a studio. I took a loan. Uh, I am not a good businessman, unfortunately. And I took a loan, which was, you know, a bad plan, a personal loan from... And I was, and I didn't have any work. I had not paid my dues in advertising. I had not paid my dues. See, the lesson comes again. You have to pay your dues. You cannot say, I started a studio. I could not pay my interest. I was paying interest upon the interest accrued. I could not pay for the rice plates that someone was giving me every day. Say, khao na sir, fikar mat karo. Niche di rice plate out of the world. Khao, aapka photo bohut achcha hai. Ek din aap bohut famous hoega, baad mein paisa dena. You need people like this in your life. I didn't have money to put petrol in my goddamn scooter. When the, when, when the petrol used to get over, I used to jump off the scooter and dhakko mari ne gheri lejja zodo. People on the road would say, Aray, bhai saab, kaan ja rai? Petrol pump udar hai. How, how do I tell him that there is no pe petrol? I said, nay, nay, nay. Um, petrol bhoat hai. Carburetor mein kachra hai. Acha, acha, acha. Mechanic ke paas ja. And, and it just became too much for me. It became too much for me. And I thought, you know, maybe I'll have to shut down my dream of doing something creative. Pacho dukane chali jaun. Mari bairi besti dukan par. Pachi mari bairi mane puja tar ko hem lambu monu rene kai faraj. I said, I don't know. I think I made a mistake. So, you know, don't worry. It's a dream. You're almost there. Your photographs are great. Taija said, don't. You don't give up your dream. I'm not teacher. Gai kabat ma gai nene box up you mara hat ma. I, I, I switched it. I said, it was, it was a wedding jewelry. I said, what are you doing? Are you making me feel worse? I said, no. So what do you want me to do with this jewelry? She said. I said, why? So, what, what, what? Wear it and look nice? You think I look nice wearing jewelry? That's not how you're supposed to look nice. You only look nice when you smile. And you've stopped smiling. It's very important, you know. It's very important to keep your spirits going. So it's, you've stopped smiling. I said, then what do you want me to do? I said, said, go chase your dreams. When you chase your dreams, you'll smile. And when you smile, I'll smile. And when I smile, I'll not need jewelry to make me look good. I said, that's something. That's something I learned from this wonderful human being. And strangely, you know, I do believe that acts like this turn your, turn your game around and the game changed. And suddenly, suddenly, I don't know how, because I used to practice every day alone in, a, in, my, in my studio, alone for hours and hours. And one, one day, Shamak Dawar walks into my studio. And Shamak Dawar takes his photographs. I get a little more recognition. And he says, you're going to be very famous. I said, what, doing photographs? He's saying, no, I don't know. After six months, he comes and tells me I'm taking you for lunch. I said, free lunch, go he took me to Alec Padamsi's house. I said, what's this for? He said, for an audition. I said, Mane, I'm, not acting, acting me. I'm not an actor. He said, Juttu nai bol vano. Juttu na bol. Every bone in your body, every hair on your head tells me you are an actor and you want to be an actor. So don't lie. Don't lie to me. Don't lie to yourself. This is your destiny, Baman. And I just could not argue with that. He took me to Alec Padamsi. Alec Padamsi gave me one role for three minutes in his next musical. Three minute role. One song. One full length song. Musical was called Roshni. It was a, which, which he had written the lyrics and Louis Banks had done the music. It was a big mega production. One, one appearance. And ladies and gentlemen, please don't be scandalized. 
But my first role ever as a professional actor, I got 200 rupees, so I'm a professional actor now, was that of a pimp. I got the first role of a pimp and my mom, and you know, in the bathroom, she used to go and ask all the other Parsi ladies, how was, how, 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 how was my son? Who's your son? Are the pimp is my son. So proudly she used to say it like good parts are good parts, lady. That move that play flopped. But I got recognized. I'd like to tell youngsters over there, don't ever say hey, any other marusu su Three minutes is all you need to show if you're talented or not. That's it. Or you're hard working. And I worked really hard. And there was something to keep on rehearsing that, keep on rehearsing that. There is something that I, I teach in my screenwriting classes, which I do. Uh, and, and that was that Bruce Lee, did I mean Bruce Lee was famous? Bruce Lee said, I don't fear a man who has a thousand kicks. I fear a man who has one kick, but he practices it a thousand times. And that's something that stayed with me. I kept rehearsing that one, one appearance and I got an ovation for it. I got another role and another role and I got the role of I'm not Baji Rao. And next I'm playing a 75 year old man with Sudhir Joshi, a Marathi theater, Doyen. And we did a play which was meant to be only three shows in an experimental theater. Three shows in an experimental theater, we rehearsed for six months for it. Somehow that experiment went on for 10 years in the big theater. Don't ask me how. It's, it's only belief. I got next, I got the role of playing Gandhi in Mahatma versus Gandhi. I went to Sudhir Joshi and I said, Sudhir Joshi, kya karu me? He said, ah, do it, do it. I said, really? He said, yeah, I'm 6'2 and I'm 100 kilos. He said, ah, I said, what do uh, Gandhi, pagal ho gaya? Mahatma Gandhi, there are dimak kharab ho gaya. I, go, I thought it is frontier Gandhi Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan. And he says, no, wait. I was joking. Of course you can do it. I said, you sure? He said, yeah. Lose the weight. You can't lose the height. You're in theater. It's an illusion. Theater is about lying, but it's about lying honestly. And if you don't believe you're Gandhi, then the audience will not believe you're Gandhi. First, you have to believe. Then they will believe. That stuck in my head for the rest of my life. And whatever acting uh, job I've ever done. If you don't believe you're that person, how do I make you believe that, that I'm that person? Went on. And then Ram Madhwani. I got another six minutes to go. I'm going to wrap this up fast. Ram Madhwani comes and says, I want to make a movie with you. I want to make a movie An experimental movie. Experimental, experimental make a movie. He says, we, we have to make a movie. You and I will write it. We will rehearse it for one year. And then we'll shoot it in eight days. And we'll shoot it on a handy cam. Handy cam, yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm a result out of it. Our uncle, but the party, I'm a cake cheese record. I'm not a replay, but I'm not a replay. Patru bhi leta tha, lamp bhi leta tha, ceiling bhi leta tha, dancing bhi leta tha, te walu camera. Te camera par hume picture bana view called Let's Talk in eight days. We were never going to get a release for that movie. We had a premiere in his house. Eleven of us attended the premiere. We stood up, we gave it a standing ovation. We gave it the best reviews ourselves. But something very unusual happened. A gentleman, a producer from the Hindi film industry, saw one section of it in the edit room. So even the picture edit thatutu on the computer, and that machine was this movie being edited. See, ye kaun sa ganda picture hai? Bad camera, matlab. He say, ye actor kaun hai? See, Parsi, Parsi hai. Hindi aata hai usko? Malum nahi. Bejo. Two lakhs, huh? I said, what's this for? Mary ugly picture. Ugly picture? Wow. Konsi picture? 
मेरे पास पिक्चर कहानी नहीं है मरी गया है मतलब फिल्मी वाला है वो कर मेरे पास कहानी नहीं मैं बोला तो पसी व्हाई यू गिव मी 2 लाख्स व्हाई यू गिव मी 2 लाख्स ही सेड बिकॉज़ आई विल टेल यू आई एम गिविंग यू 2 लाख्स ऐसे ही थोड़ी दिया चैरिटी नहीं है आई सेड ओके ही सेज मिस्टर ईरानी द डे यू स्टार्ट स्पीकिंग इन हिंदी एंड यू एग्री टू डू अ हिंदी फिल्म when i ask you for dates you cannot say no to me because you will not have dates to give me i said wow this is nice to hear that means this is one way of uh, appreciating my work he says yeah he disappeared for 8 months and then he calls up one day and said are yaar kahani mil gayi kahani mil gayi kamal ki kahani mil gayi i said kaun si kahani picture ka naam kya hai He said, "Munna Bhai, MBBS." I said, "It sounds like a terrible title." Manma ka yu, it's a terrible title. So I said, "What's the story? Kahani kya hai?" Arey Kamal ki kahani hai. A gunda hai. A gunda hai. Wo doctor banna chahta hai. I said, "Mari ke ena karna kharaab mein kahani mera life mein nahi samjhi." Mera role kya hai? Tu doctor hai. तू डॉक्टर है और पूरे पिक्चर में तू हंसेगा गॉड इट साउंड ऑफुल एंड इस गो टू मीट माई असिस्टेंट बोलो यू आर नॉट मेकिंग द मूवी नो माई असिस्टेंट विल मेक द मूवी एंड लिसन टू द होल स्टोरी डोंट जज द मूवी लाइक दैट तो वो गयो और आई मेट राजू बोल राजू वो हु इज दिस राजू नाउ गयो राजू है मैंने नरेशन आप यू narration apta apta rarto to hasto to and he got into a trance i said this is the most amazing story i have ever heard the most amazing story i said raju you know 20% reaches the screen we have something and we got started vivek obroy was supposed to do it he dropped out went and did company god bless him sharukh khan said i want to do it sharukh khan got a spine problem he dropped out kajol dropped out shwarya dropped out tabu dropped out only i was remaining मैंने पैसा पहला था वो जो तो एक चल ले फाइनली वी गोट अ फोर्टी फोर इल संजय दत्त दस होप एंड प्रे ही गेट्स ओके टू डू दार्ट ऑफ अ कॉलेज स्टूडेंट एंड वी स्टार्ट शूटिंग नो बडी वॉन्ट टू फाइनेंस दैट फिल्म नो बडी वॉन्ट टू डिस्ट्रीब्यूट दैट फिल्म नो बडी बिलीव इन दैट फिल्म एक्सेप्ट फॉर द फिल्म मेकर्स एंड द एक्टर्स एंड वी शॉर्ट इट इन रिकॉर्ड टाइम एंड रिकॉर्ड बजट वी डेंट हैव मनी टू कम्प्लीट दैट फिल्म छले लगन न मंडप करवानी फॉर देट वी घुसाउट इन टू समबडी एल्स इज वेडिंग एंड वी हिट बिहाइंड द स्टेज एंड वी हिट लाइक दैट एंड वेन ऑल द गेस्ट लेफ्ट वी जम्प ऑन टू द स्टेज एंड इन टेन मिनट्स वी टू द शॉर्ट्स एंड रैन अवे सो वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट अपॉर्चुनिटी एंड रिसोर्स द वर्ल्ड इज योर रिसोर्स If you believe, you will go. And Sunil Dutt is also sitting. Sunil Dutt side, better than that. Sanjay Dutt, niche par chhara better than that. Stage ni paachal. But the ghere ghe pachi, I mean, agar jane photo. One of India's most beloved films was shot like this. So we cannot say, "Arey, they have the opportunity." You got to make the opportunity because there's belief in the story. We finished the film. Nobody wanted to distribute that film. The opening day, the theaters, not multiplex. the theater before the multiplex boom came in half full 40% full you know i say how can this movie not work it's a beautiful movie but raju is saying nay people are laughing people are crying i am happy i didn't make this film to make a 100 crore film i made this film to reach out to touch people's hearts that was the intention i used to go to maratha mandir every evening आफ्टर दुकान बंद कर दो तो नहीं स्टूडियो बंद कर दो तो पी बैरी ने छोरे छोरू बैरी दुकान बंद कर दो तो मरा था मंदिर घेरे घेरे जता मैं टू वॉच द मूवी फ्रॉम बिहाइंड हाउ इज दिस मूवी नॉट डूइंग वेल आई स्विप्ट आउट एंड आई हर्ड अ वॉइस ऑन द स्ट्रीट आई स्टैंडिंग इन द स्ट्रीट लॉस्ट आई सेट नो दिस मूवी हैज टू डू वेल आई हर्ड अ वॉइस And I heard a voice that said, "Hey, Mamo!" I looked around. He said, "Niche dekho, jamin footpath par ek bai baise li." 
ખડુસ જેવી હાજી મામુ આઈ સેડ યા સી રેકગ્નાઇઝ મી બાય માય નેમ ઇન ધ મુવી વોઝ વેરી હેપી બહુ ખુશ થઈ ગયો સેઇંગ મામુ એન્ડ શી સેડ ટુ મી સમથિંગ નો ક્રિટિક ઓ ફેન હેઝ એવર સેડ ઇટ સો સ્વીટલી ટુ મી that little compliment she gave me i got very happy she was sitting on the road bichari garib hati garib jevi lagti he saying mamu kya acting kiya tune mamu aye re wa mar vakan bhi kare chhe mane bol maru naam bhi orkhi gayi i called up raju no she said something amazing after that she said mamu bahut paisa kamayenge hum log હમ લોક પૈસા કમાય કે મને લાગુ કે કઈ પ્રોડ્યુસર હશે ચાર પાંચ ફ્લોપ પછી રસ્તા પર આવી ગઈ મને એવું લાગુન બ્લેક માર્કેટ મેં ટિકિટ વેચતી હું બ્લેક માર્કેટ અચ્છા દિસ પિક્ચર એ પિક્ચર બહુ ઉઠેગી હમકો માલુમ પડતા પિક્ચર કોણ સી ચલેગી કોણ સી ફ્લોપ એ ફ્લોપ ને એ બહુ ચલેગી ઓર પૈસા કમાયેગી ઓર લોક બાત કરતે રહેગે પિક્ચર કે બાદ મેં રાજુ નો ફોન કર્યો રાજુ અમારી પિક્ચર હિટ હો ગઈ કોણ બોલા ટ્રેડ ગાઈડ તારા નડર્સ નહી તો કોણ બોલા બ્લેક માર્કેટ પગલ હો ગયા બ્લેક માર્કેટ કે ઔરત કી બાત સુને તું મેચ થઈ ગયો ચાલો એન્ડ શ્યોર યુ વોન્ટ બિલીવ નેક્સ્ટ ડે પિક્ચર સ્ટાર્ટ ડુઈંગ વેલ વર્ડ ઓફ માઉથ ઇઝ ઓલ ઇટ ટેક્સ યુ કેન એડવર્ટાઇઝ યોર હેડ ઓફ ઇટ્સ નોટ ગુડ વર્ક બટ ઇટ્સ ઇવેન્ચ્યુઅલી અબાઉટ ધ પ્રોડક્ટ ગુડ પ્રોડક્ટ વિલ વર્ક So when a movie doesn't do well, we must never say it was not proper. It was not marketed well. Good movies will never go un- unnoticed. Similarly, whatever you are doing will never go unnoticed if your work is good. Never. Anyway, one week after that, the awards were announced. The the nominees. One week. It was December. People wait for the whole year. December month. We were nominated. Ten nominations. Wow. One week after that was the first show. night before that arshad varsi calls me said what are you wearing tomorrow to bhuli gaye lo i said you what do you mean so you don't have a suit i said no i don't have a suit he saying then i said no he says oh he calls up naresh bhai of masculine are naresh bhai i need a suit in 24 hours they no no it's award season mere paas jagah nahi kiske liye bamani rani i don't know any bamani rani ko marwa de nahi jo mogi dad suit he saying nahi you need a suit say please make a suit please make a suit so he say kaun sa picture mein kaam kiya bole munna bhai kaun sa role kiya so wo doctor are wo mamu takla takla are main takla bahut acha actor hai wo main uske liye suit banayega to bhi khush thai gaya pan andar thi mogi dad suit ho se amitabh bachchan sharukh khan na wala suit banaya hai manas bole mane nahi jo so he said ah baban ji kya baat hai aapke liye suit hai matlab measurement મેજરમેન્ટ કે ટાઈમ નહીં હમકો આઈ ડોન્ટ વોન્ટ સુટ વિદઆઉટ ટેકિંગ મેજરમેન્ટ વોટ યુટ આપકા હાઇટ ક્યાં બોલો હાઇટ થી થોડી સુટ માલમ પડે તું કોલર અહીંયા માથા પર બનાવું છે કોલર સિક્સ ફીટ ટુ જી નહીં ડોન્ટ વરી કિસકો બોલના નહીં મેરે પાસ મુન્નાભાઈ કા પાયરેટેડ ડીવીડી હૈ ઠીક હૈ કિસકો બોલના નહીં આઈ હેવ ટોલ્ડ ધ હોલ વર્લ્ડ એનીવે પાયરેટેડ ડીવીડી હૈ તો ઇ સેઝ કે આપ આઈ પ્લે ઇટ આપ સ્ક્રીન પે આયેંગે ના I will pause. When I pause, I'll measure you on the TV. Suppose you're saying your height is six two. Yeah, TV will be say twelve inches. Six feet two inches corresponds to twelve inches. Then whatever the ratio happens, I'll do shoulders, armpit, length, waist. Carry me. Thoda loose banana. Don't worry. Kal tak a jayegi. I'll make you a suit in twenty four hours. Teach it. Next day, the awards. I'm not sitting in the audience. i'm standing under the stage with all that cross patties under the stage stage ni jo bore lo chu nago on a tour moro suit aao se moro suit aao se suiter ne aao suiter dekho if i win the award i won't even be able to go i can't wear my jeans and run up on stage i am waiting nikla nikla but i locked down up la bhaji tarkari wala awaaz kare niche thi મુન્નાભાઈ 
I quickly hug my driver and he said, Jao, sir, baad mein kis karo, jao, upar, jao. And I run up that, you know, that slopey step, which is the, 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 the service steps, not from the main entrance where all the... Um, and I went and I fell. Parigyo, drang, in akko, the MMM, nuchu, pacho doryo, pacho parigyo. Pacho utiyo, pacho emki, tu meko hai aram ti, su, dore, baba, tu me, aram karni, yaar. I said to myself, I've been running all my life. I've fallen many times. I've gotten, I've dusted myself, but I've gone ahead. Do it again. I went on stage and I got my first award. The only person, I was happy. I won't lie. I won't lie. I was happy. My mother was ecstatic. She'll call me just now. She's not well. She'll call me after the Kyo show. She'll ask me. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. The rest of my, my story, you know better than I do, maybe, I'm hoping, because I don't remember too much of the last few years. All I know is that my intentions never stop. I wanted to be an actor. I got on in front of the camera. I want to be a director all my life, even as a child. I'll make a movie. I want to be a screenwriter. For the last seven years, I'm studying screenwriting. I'm teaching now every day, 130 sessions I've done during the lockdown of screenwriting. I don't stop my intentions and my wants because I think when that stops, everything stops. I'll make a debut as a director, as a grandfather. That's okay. Who made the rules that you cannot direct and make a debut as a director, as a grandfather? That's what I want to do with my life and it shouldn't stop. When that stops and your creative juices stops, I think something inside you, inside you dies. I still have one, one last thought before I go, and that is when I used to collect tips at the Taj Mahal and I got a five rupee note for a nine rupee tea as a tip, and I was ecstatic. I called up my mother and said, I made my first five bucks. I have a photograph of that. I couldn't show it to you today. And I always end my session with that photograph. Even today, the excitement, the enthusiasm, and the passion should be when you made your first five bucks. It's not about the money. It's about passion. I hope that never dies. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for listening to me. My fellows are thustis. God bless you in all you do. Thank you. Baban, I believe you sing well. Can you just give us a glimpse of a small song? Con bol you, eh? I, I, who, who's I, 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 I can't make out who's saying who's saying I. <laughs> yes. Are just the Tantra Sahib. Sorry, sorry, I couldn't see you. Are Tantra Sahib. Uh, you know, your Tantra Sahib, Jitna Paisa Tumne Pheka, Utna Ham Nachega. Ghanega Dhai Rupia Dia? Nay. Bejega? That's a ticket. I'm moving. I'm joking. I'm pulling your, pulling your leg. So everybody, thank you very much for listening. I just have to go and tell my mother that you are a fabulous uh, audience and you were so patient in listening to me. I went five, seven minutes over time. It's okay. I'm forgiven. Uh, uh, thank you. So I'll, I'll, I'll do one song uh, from a film of mine. Uh, from, uh, have you all seen Three Idiots? Can I see some? Have you all seen Three Idiots? There's one of my favorite songs uh, from the film called Give Me Some Sunshine and Give Me Some Rain. And I'll sing that for you. Um, please give my love to Jaru, Roshan, and Shirin, Dinas, mom's cousin. Hi, Dinas! Hey, so nice. Majgamni Mari, Dinas. How are you? Which part of the world are you, Dinas? If you could just put that in the in the super in the box, I'll tell her. My mom will know. My mom will know. So let's do this song. Uh, I, I, you know, we can't we can't sing together because the the time lapse. So I just attempt to play some guitar also with it. Why not? If you believe you know how to play the guitar, then they'll believe that you know how to play the guitar. <laughs> All right, everybody. Jara, a little smile will help. Make me feel nicer. Roshan, you smile all the time. I just love it, Roshan. So nice. See, what a lovely smile you got. Sari Umraham 
मर मर के जी है एक पल तो अब हमें जीने दो जीने दो सारी उम्र हम मर मर के जी रही है एक पल तो अब हमें जीने दो जीने दो बचपन तो गया जवानी भी गई एक पल तो अब हमें Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. I don't. Know, I. I wish. I. I. How do I do this? Do I save the messages to see it? Uh, I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. All right. I will. Somebody said, please see all the messages. Seen it one hundred thousand times. Thank you so much for the lovely messages from Vancouver, from Connecticut, all of you, um, from Jaru Irani to everyone. Jaru Irani, my mom. Thank you so much, dear Bummer, for inspirational talk. So, all right. I'll tell my mom that too. That there was a Jaru Irani who said. But I'll tell you something. This is what she said to me an hour ago, and I'll tell you, it's so important to encourage people. uh when i was a kid she realized that this kid may not get the great maths and marks in maths and she realized my potential uh, as somebody who could perform so she encouraged me to sing she encouraged me to act and and i'll tell you every time i would go on stage she would say this beautiful thing it was one one word when she walk out of the door i said mummy you down son she did today also sparkle sparkle she used a lovely word sparkle and i feel i feel charged this afternoon she was so unwell i can't tell you she frightened us uh but she continued to inspire me um um always and i'm i'm grateful for her in my life and my wonderful wife who even to to today keeps my feet on the ground i think it's very important in all the work that we do in all kinds of fields No, it's not about fame. It's it's about being happy. Follow your bliss, everybody. Follow your bliss. That's all I can say. Thank you, Baman. You were very inspiring, and uh, there are a few questions. So can we take them? Are you rupee up a question? Shallow. How are you? Done. Done. <laughs> okay. The first question is to Mr. Rustam Engineer. Rustam is. Rajin. Question, and he has a question. Rustam, can you say it? Yes, of course. Uh, thank you, uh, uh, Baman, for agreeing to talk to WZZCC uh, organization around the world. Uh, I know that um, the journey of your life is truly inspirational, and it's an understatement, of course. I want to ask you a quick question without wasting everybody's time. as you know parsi balajis are not exactly known for speaking the best of hindi they have their own little version of hindi language how did you overcome uh, that obstacle did you have to go through some kind of a formal teaching a learning of hindi language or what was your experience i i think over a period of time over a period of time i think it's not only important to learn you continue learning and and that goes for everything and the best is to 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 speak in hindi uh, to, with everybody because that's going to be my communication if i wanted to make and then another thing i think there was a time when we we used to be a little hindi picture you know no you go in for it if you don't believe then they won't believe that's my thing so if you want to be convincing you got to train you got to train for everything you got to train for everything and i did train 
and there were many dialects that I had to learn over many movies. The first movie I did was a, which was outside of Mumbai, uh, which was a character I played. For the first time, I played a character outside of Mumbai. That was in Delhi, a character called Kurana. I had to learn Punjabi. I had to learn Dakhni when I played a Hyderabadi driver. You don't stop learning because you've got, to, you've got to believe. If you don't believe and you're not convinced, I don't think the audience gets convinced. And that's it for anything. It's not just the language. It's about just training yourself every day to do something. I continue to read on acting even today. I, I watch videos. I read books. Just don't stop learning. And I want to share one little thing about not stopping to learn and, 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 and also from where you can learn. And where you can learn. I did a session with a group of special children in Dubai uh, about 10 days ago. And there was this girl who was a special child. And, and her name is Nilufa. And, 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 and I was so nervous to face these kids because I hope my people, you know, okay, you know, in, in, you know overcompensating the, the kindness that we try to show people with special, special needs. So I just looked at her face and she was so lovely, a round face and she had no eyebrows, no hair. And, you know, so I said, Nilu, Nilu, why? And she said, yeah, Bhagavan, sir, I love you. I love you. She was so cute. And I kept running to her. Every time I, was, I would get a little emotion, I would choke up. I would shout out to Nilu, Nilu for, all right? And after the show got over, I, I spoke to Gulshan, who was like the principal of that, that school. You must be knowing her, Meher, Gulshan. And I said, you know, this Nilufa really helped me, you know, she was so lovely, and you know, the way she, she said, you know, I want to tell you something. I'm a little nervous in public, public speaking, she said. And I said, I said, oh, and this Nilufa would say, ma'am, why don't you speak in public? So she said, I, I get, I feel nervous. So why? Say, I don't know. So she said, I'll tell you what, this, this Nilufa, huh? the special girl, special kid. He said, you know what, when you're facing a crowd, don't see the crowd. You see me, Nilufa, and you speak to me, only me. And when you speak to me and only me, the words will come out of your mouth because you love me. I think that's the best lesson I have learned, that you can learn something from anywhere and you can never stop learning. Raman, we are so happy. Uh, to share with you that Lord Karan Moria is also watching your presentation. Oh, how nice. How nice. Thank and you. And if he is there, Karan, would you do us a favor and ask a question to Bama? Karan, are you there? I think. Yes, is he there? He is there. He is there. Yeah. Can you please put him on? Yeah. I question of you, Ari Rupiah's Levas, huh? No, no problem. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Bhaman. Thank you. 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 Yeah, yeah, he's been made so host. Okay. okay. Okay, let's take one more question in between. Yeah, okay. All right. Uh, so the next question is uh, asked by uh, input. Mr. Azal Dawar, our global president, to ask a question to you. Azal, would you yeah. like to go on? Yes. yes. Uh, thank you, Bauman. Thank you for your very inspirational talk. Thank uh, you. You evolved into a true entrepreneur, uh, grabbing every opportunity. Could you explain the main difference between nokri and entrepreneurship and why youth would should think consciously about becoming entrepreneurs? Look, I, I, I would find that a little presumptuous to say that, you know, entrepreneurship over Nokri. There are some people who I think would, would find their skill sets better to do Nokri. It's not a bad thing, I think. But 
just think of the naukri that you are doing as yours you are the you are the it's your enterprise rather than somebody else's and and i think the the, the principle should remain the same i would much prefer if people would be uh, entrepreneurs but some people might not have the wherewithal and the intention it's it's the joy that you get in what you do so if it is a if it's a job do it as if it's you own the goddamn company you know and, and i think then and all all the all the effort and all the passion is all that matters at the end of the day uh i would always like to feel that uh, don't settle though for the comfort zone so if you are if you're an entrepreneur also and you might settle okay i my business has got this kind of thing don't settle keep the intentions going similarly while doing a job say i got this job i'm comfy uh, i'm getting this much that's it my life is settled i feel that's where the problem is don't settle down in a comfort zone and saying this is good for me no because you'll get you'll get bored after a while you got to keep raising the bar for yourself even if it's a knockly that's all i can say i, I don't want to 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 say that there's a big i prefer entrepreneurship but yeah. um, and we also have mr funny major our former air force chief so he has a comment would you I like i stayed in my sign immediately uh. <laughs> so we have all we come straight mr major would you like to uh bobon it was an absolute delight listening to your talk and your journey through your life thank you uh you are an inspiration to the zoroastrian youth and i only hope that you have enough clout in bombay where most of us zoroastrians are to get those little boys and girls out of their houses from their mothers clutches and send them all over the country and the world to venture out and to do things which they want to do which you so wonderfully illustrated and told all of us i am a military man i think differently but i think there is a need for us uh, zoroastrians to be not bombay centric or you know you know live in little little uh, pockets but get out into the world and prove themselves as our ancestors have done because we need to do more than what they did and not live on their glory thank you i I'd hope like to add i i i i must say i'm i'm very happy to say that i that that's the one song i keep singing wherever i go you know uh the same same thing that you said it's not about being bombay centric it's you should stop being bag centric also you know all your sports happen in the bag yeah great participate in everything but even go out of the bag and say there's a whole big bad world out there and don't be and, and the pat the pats you get on your shoulder in the bag is not the glory that's the comfort zone i'm talking to you about and that comfort zone was provided to you by by our pre, by our ancestors so don't don't bask in that comfort zone go out there not not just out of bomb not just out of the ba uh, bombay but out of the bag first i'm sorry it sounds cruel but but this is the truth and don't settle for comfort i'll say one more thing it's about integrating with the rest of the world it's it's about integrating with the rest of the world it's about integrating say there is we are living in india we got to learn to speak the language you got to learn to understand this is the indian the indian film industry i have to integrate myself in the film industry not frown and look down upon anyone that's a problem we have i'll tell you one little little story of how our ancestors apart from the legacy and the name that we have um, have helped each and every one of us apart from the from the the colonies and what what, what have you I went to, to, when I was a photographer. I got a place at the Russian consulate. It was the Soviet consulate that had closed down, and they there was a studio space that someone told me I can get. And I went uh, to meet the the consul general of Russia, and he said, "I will give you the space." And he gave me the space at a very very nominal price, with a telephone, an AC, and a fridge. And I'm saying. 
something is wrong somewhere. This can't be true. It's too good to be true. But I said, okay. And he called me for signing that document. And I'm, my, heart is, my heart is thumping because I said, this is too good to be true. This is too good to be true. And you won't believe this. And, and I kind of demonstrated for you. Okay. And uh, there it is. And he had a lovely pen. And he opened the pen like that. And he was about to sign and he stopped. And I said, I knew it. It's too good to be true. He said, Mr. Irani. He said, yes, sir. One question before I sign. One question. I said, Mari ke ke Russia never get general knowledge. Nahi ho. I only know Dada and yet, yet, nothing more than that. Then what's the question, sir? You are Zarthosti? Parsi? Zarthosti? I said, yes. Then I signed. And he signed. Just for the fact that I am Zarthosti. Nothing else mattered to him. A Russian. He knew who we were, what we stand for. And we, we benefit from that legacy. I think it's only our job to give back and feed into that legacy for the next generation. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and if we're going to live in this comfort zone, as Ma Ma Mr. Major said, it's not going to happen. We're just softening ourselves. That's not how our, our, our ancestors and all those wonderful people who did whatever they did for us, they were not living in their comfort zones. Far from it. That's all. Thank you. Thank you very much. Maman, we have a young person, Rehan Kotwal, who would like to ask you a question. All the other gentlemen were also very young, by the way. So, <laughs> Jehan, can you carry on with your question? Jehan. Thank you, Baman. Yes, uh, I'm Jehan Kotwal, and uh, I'm the global youth director for the WZCC. Uh, right. My question was more around uh, for the youngsters of our community. Uh, what would you say uh, are the three leadership lessons we should incorporate or from your life learnings? Of course, you've mentioned a lot of things. What would be the three key you know, principles that we or uh, made you successful or you would recommend us to imbibe in our work or in our profession? There are probably thank 20. You. But we'll try and thank you, Jehan. Such a sweet question. There are probably 20, but I'll just stick with three or two or three or whatever. Just, I think I, I went through them in, 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 and I buried it in my story some way. I kind of uh, put it in my story. One is you've got to pay your dues. You have to pay your dues. You've got to really work hard. It just, just because you are, you, are a, you are an actor in, in the Hindi films, it doesn't mean you can act as well in a Bengali film. You've got to learn your goddamn Bengali before you do a Bengali film. You know what I mean? So you've got to pay your dues, number one. I think the greatest thing is the integrity and, and, and passion you should have for, for, for what you're doing. If you're not going to enjoy it, and i tell you one more thing. It, I, I, I don't look at the money. Uh, I don't look at the money. It comes. It does come. I don't. I can't afford to because I think in my kind of work, if I'm going to equate my, my craft to money, I don't know if there is a tangible or an empirical number that I could put to it. When, I, when somebody asks me for a photograph, I can't say $50. No. I couldn't put a number to it. And to add to it, I don't know numbers very well. I am number dyslexic or dyscalculic. And third and most important of all is that you must always have the humility to learn something every day. Seven years ago, I wrote a script. I wrote a script and, and I read the script and I said, this is the greatest script I've ever read. I woke up in the morning and I read the script again. And I said, this is the worst script I have ever read. <laughs> and I said, because there's great passion I have, but I had not paid my dues. And, and I did not know the, the, the skill of writing a script. I only had the passion and, 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 the, and the talent maybe. But talent alone does not get you anywhere. You have to apply craft. So I go, went to New York and I got myself a guru. I got myself a guru. And, and I, I started training under him and, and, and that he was a playwright. And, and I stepped, I said, teach me, teach me. 
And from NYU, all, all the kids came and started taking selfies with me. He says, who the hell are you? You're a scriptwriter? What the hell are you? He says, I'm an actor. He said, how the hell are you going to learn at this age? I said, because I want to be a scriptwriter. He's saying, all these people taking selfies of you and all. He says, no, no, no. He says, look, I can't be nice to you because you're some actor who's well known in India. I'm going to be very hard on you. I said, that's what I want. You've got to have people who are hard around you if you really, really want to learn. And you don't stop learning. And every single day, I would stand outside his club and wait for him in the snow for him to arrive. Oh, come. And I would sit and take tuitions for him. And, this, and I, was, I was, I think, uh, 54 then. And I, I think the moment you say that, you know, why should I sit? People are going to eat out of my hand. I mean, I just say I'm ready to make a movie and people will give me them. Uh, no, sir. You've got to do the long haul. So that's what I'd like to tell youngsters, that you will never stop learning, even though I would like to believe I was half a decent screenwriter when I started. But I'm still learning every single day. Every single day, there'll be a book on my table and every single morning I'll read something. And every single day, I will apply knowledge on its own is of no value if you keep going to keep it here. It's got to go from here onto the page. You got to apply. Don't just learn. Learn to use it in your day-to-day -day work. Otherwise, you just have knowledge in your head and say, I know this and I know that and I am the greatest. No, no, it doesn't work like that. So I'm sorry I got a little passionate about that. Um, for a change, now we'll call one lady, young lady. Uh, Rashna, are you there on the line? Rashna Sanjana? Yes, I am. Hi. Mm -hmm. Hi. So thank you. you. Yeah. Th thank you so much, Mr. Rani, for such a delightful and interesting and inspirational evening, at least for all of us in Bombay. Um, again, one thing that I would like to ask, uh, you know, because you've been through this, is um, for the youth. Uh, what would you tell the youth about following their dreams? Because a lot of them are still very scared to do so, especially at a different path. And um, they might have a lot of family pressure to not do so either. I mean, your mother was, you know, a great support yeah. and great inspiration to you. So what would you tell the youth, number one? And also, I guess, what would you tell the, what, what kind of advice would you also have for the parents? Because I think we have a mix of, uh, you know, both here. I think just as other people will see what makes you happy and your parents will want to see you happy, you, if you believe your parents will believe. That's the, that's the one thing I'll have to say. Because parents, nokri kar, nokri kar, nahi pa, no, 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 no. And I'll tell you today, things have changed. When I was a kid and I wanted to buy a camera, it was a rich man's hobby. Today, every person has at least a, a phone in his hand and he can understand uh, composition and lighting. And, and everyone has an Instagram account to even show their work. So if you want to be a photographer, for example, you don't have to kick up your job. You don't. You have the wherewithal to do it. You've got software, you've got hardware, you've got everything going for you. But to get one little lens back in the day, it was, how do I, how do, I do this? Do I take my family for a holiday or do I buy a lens? It was very difficult then. But now you can follow your dream without upsetting the apple cart. Until such time, I did the same thing, right? I was working at the wafer shop. I used to work at the wafer shop and I used to go on Sundays to do pictures of, uh, of it was very difficult. And, and, and believe it or not, I, I, I'm, I'm proudly saying this. The only thing that used to bother me when I used to work at the wafer shop was that my body used to sing, stink of ghee, even though I would take 10 uh, showers a day. My body and my clothes just still think, think of papeta and ghee. And I say, if I stand into somebody, I hope they're not. And I, I, I was so conscious of that. That's all you got to worry about is just go out there. Learn the craft. You show your work, whether it's photography or singing or any kind of other entrepreneurship. People will believe if you believe. If you are not convinced, your parents won't be convinced. And parents, let me tell you something. Your job in many ways was over when your kids were seven years old. And I'll tell you what you had to teach them. If you haven't taught them by the time they're seven years old, don't bother now. Because that's the time that, that those foundations are to be, to, to go into to, to the soil. 
all you got to teach your kids is to be compassionate and honest and be good Parsis. You're not supposed to teach them how to take photographs or act or be a makeup artist or dance because they are going to follow their bliss. And the longer you stop them from following their bliss, the unhappier they're going to be. And in turn, they'll make you unhappy. Just let them follow their bliss. The great Joseph Campbell, great philosopher, uh, mythological expert said, all your life, all you're ever doing is following your bliss. And when you follow your bliss, believe me, you're going to be miserable for the rest of your life because finding bliss is not an easy thing. And that's the beautiful dichotomy of that statement. But let them follow their bliss. Let them fall. It's their problem. They will get up and they'll run again. Let them do what they want to do. But the, the kids who want to follow their bliss cannot look at it for the drazzle dazzle. And please don't chase for fame. Because fame is a very bad piece of opium uh, that can ruin lives. Don't look for the fame. Look for the joy of just being part of it. That's all. Thank you, Baman. And now I would like to invite Mr. Yes. Just, just one second. Karan is unmuted. So if he wants to say something, uh, Karan. Um, thank you so much. And thank you, Mayor. Uh, thanks for organizing this. You were brilliant. I had to pop away to do a live radio interview and I'm back now. Um, <laughs> thank you for inspiring us. Can I ask you just one question, if I may? Um, no, with, with creativity, I mean, you're a hugely creative individual. Um, when, when did you first realize you had it in you to be creative? And, and what inspires you to be creative now as an actor, as a screenwriter, as a director, that what you want to do in the future? I, I, it sounds like a joke, but I always say this, you know, in interviews, I always say that, you know, I started watching movies in my mom's womb. Uh, so it, it may have started way back then. Uh, but when I was a kid, I used to watch movies that were not, not meant for kids. I'm not talking about that I went and saw X-rated films. I'm saying I watched kids that were outside my, my, my age uh, limit. There was a film that I went and watched 37 times in the Strand Cinema. It was a film called Funny Girl with Barbara Streisand. It was her debut film. And there was a, dog, there was a guy, the, guy the, the usher there, was a Parsi gentleman called Dara. I remember, it's a little fella, you know, was nine years old. Uh, it was 1967, 68, or I must have been nine years old when I went to see it. Uh, funny girl. And he said, Tane samaj ma aavech picture. Tane, who roj aavech hiya? I said, catch a 65, 69, and walk all the way from Regal, all the way to... I, I said, I don't know, I'm just attracted to this, this, this showbiz, this stage how she made people laugh, how she was, a, she was different. She, she went in the Ziegfeld Follies and, 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 and she didn't want to play the lead role because she had a long nose. So she, to make it funny, she went in as a pregnant bride. I said, she's a renegade. She's a rebel. And that's what I wanted to, maybe that's what excited me. I don't know. I'll tell you one more thing. There was a shot in that film and I have that photograph and I keep it with me where she enters the new Amsterdam theater in New York, you know, as a star and, and the people entering the new Amsterdam theater from, from the main entrance. And she stops over there and sees her name up there, Fanny Bryce, Fanny Bryce. And she was a comedian. And she, instead of going into the theater, she went in the back alley, went back and, uh, and she, uh, she went in for the artist's entrance. And I said to myself, that's my want. I want to enter the theater from the artist's entrance. And I'll, I'll do whatever I have, whether I've got to work and my, till my feet tear, I'll enter the theater. Every man has to have a want. And if you don't have a want, then that story is not worth telling. So I just love the lights and I love this, the wooden floors and I love the sound that comes from the stage. I love an audience. I think it's got to do with our egos also. Let's make no mistake about that. Um, and then you've got to work towards it. Sachin Tendulkar wouldn't be Sachin Tendulkar if he didn't practice in the nets. So you can be talented. But I know a lot of people who are hugely talented who have not made the cut. You have to work in the nets. That's all I can say, I, as humbly as I could, uh, Lord Khan. Thank you. 
Thank you, Lord Karan, for being with us. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Major, for being with us and many more whom I have not been able to, you know, capture. But uh, thank you all. And now I would like to request Mr. Yasdi Pantra, the um, Vice President, Global Vice President of WZCC to deliver a vote of thanks to Bhavan. <clears throat> Yasdi, would you do us the honors? Uh, thank you. Thank you, Mayor. And thank you very much, Maman. Lots of your films have a hidden message, but your today's talk had a very, very direct message. And maybe it was better than any of your films that I watched. So thank you very much for being with us and inspiring all of us to do much better at whatever our age may be. Thanks a lot. Thank you. All for participating in the webinar and we'll see you next month with a lovely speaker. So please keep us in mind and do join the webinars that we do. These are global ones and we would love your presence all the time. And Baman, for you, our heart goes out and may God bless you always. And may your Irani movie tone do wonders and set a new trail in the industry. Thank you very much. May, may be a trailblazer in the industry. Thank you, everybody. Thank the you. The kindest great. person to us, Dr. Steers, you are our brand ambassador, and we, we can't thank you enough. You have done so many good things. You have been to my Congress. You have been at the IOU, the Iran Shouts. So you always make your appearance whenever you can, and that means a lot to our community. Thank you very much. Very much. Love yeah. to your family and you. love to you. Thank you very much. Thank you all. And, and that girl, that Nilufa, taught me how to uh, how to say bye bye and clap together because they don't speak too much. She said that the girl Nilufa I was telling you about, they do it like this. So we'll we'll all say we clap and say bye bye like this. <laughs> bye everybody. <laughs> Thank you, Jesse. Thanks, man. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you, then. Thank you.